Okay, hello there guys, and mm, as the person who I'm going to speak about today would say, mm, why? I have no idea. Yes, so this video um, is a video that has been requested for me to make for quite a while now. Yes, I see your comments. And yes, finally I'm getting around to doing it. Today's video is of course about Panda Lee, DSP's girlfriend. Well, what can I say? People have been asking me to make this video for quite a while. Um, a little while back I was watching uh, one of Evil AJ 2010's stream. I believe it was, I believe he was playing Metal Gear Solid 1. Not 100%, I think it was Metal Gear Solid 1. And at the same time, Phil, it was Metal Gear Solid 1, Go, yeah, it was Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> um, at the same time, DSP was also streaming Metal Gear Solid 1. It was like some sort of Monday Night Wars wrestling type thing, but with, like, streaming. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> streaming the same game at the same time. And I watched Evil AJ's, I didn't realise that DSP was streaming at the same time, but people in Evil AJ's chat were saying, oh, DSP is streaming Metal Gear now, oh he's so bad at it, blah 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 and I opened up a second tab and I started to watch DSPs at the same time and people were mainly complaining in Evil AJ's chat about Panda Lee oh she's blocked me for saying this, blah blah blah, blocked me for that, whatever whatever so this is my first experience with Panda Lee now what I'm about to tell you I've, I've, I know of her, I've seen videos, I think she's a terrible, terrible comment uh let's player you know shit at commentary she annoys the hell out of me she's a god awful human being um <laughs> that's probably going a bit too far i don't know her that well i don't know her at all really but I'm, this is just from what i get from seeing her on youtube that's all this is this is just my opinion from what i've seen but this is my first experience of her anyway so i went on to dsp stream and i before i typed anything i just sort of watched and i saw panda lee was kind of just insulting people and she's commenting some random shit that just wasn't funny it was just offensive I can't remember what it was I wish I'd wrote it down at the time so I started off by thinking by this point I'd made quite a few DSP um actually we call them like no DSP constructive criticism videos I don't like to call them hate videos and I've made a few of them and they were getting fairly good views so I thought I wonder if my name is sort of like known to Phil and Panda Lee. So I just put a comment just saying hi, just hi, literally I shit you not within 10 seconds, bang, I was kicked out, well I was blocked so I couldn't, I'm not totally up on Twitch, I basically I was, I want to say I was blocked, not for good, I was just banned from commenting for two minutes, it was like a two minute silence ban or whatever, I couldn't say anything, just for saying hi, and I was like, oh, that's a bit odd. Obviously, I've um, annoyed some people. Just the very sight of my name angers them. So I was like, fair enough. I was like, well, I'll go back to Evil AJ stream for two minutes and then I'll come back, which I did. I then commented, Panda Lee, why did you ban me? Because she was the moderator. It was obviously it was her. And got banned again for another two minutes. And I was like, hmm. This is, this is odd. And then I posted a comment. I can't remember exactly what I put, but I put something along the lines of, Panda Lee, are you banning me because I have exposed your boyfriend for being a hypocritical douchebag many times on my channel? Question mark. And then she banned me again with no answer. And I was like, that's odd. Hmm, maybe it was an accident. So I waited another two minutes and I posted another comment saying, how does it feel to know that you're shit at what you do and the only reason you have even an ounce of popularity is because you're dating someone who is already successful in the same type of videos as you, you fucking loser. Then I got banned for another two minutes, and I kind of thought, well, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, obviously, she doesn't like me. Never answered any of my questions. They're all valid questions, but 
that is my experience of her. That's my only sort of one-way conversation with her, which, um, yeah, we get on famously. But, so I'll talk about, like, her, I want to talk about her, I don't know what to call it, should we call it her product? There's a lot of gaming channels on YouTube, you need to be able to stand out. Hell, I have a YouTube Let's Play channel, and, you know, I know how difficult it is to get your name out there when everyone and his mother are doing it. Um, that sounded wrong. You know what I mean. Anyway, so, what, what, why should you watch Panda Lee Gaming? What does she offer? I'm glad you asked. Why should we watch Panda Lee Games when even her own boyfriend, DSP, doesn't watch her? That's right. Check this video out by the name of DSP Tries It, Racism, Asian Girls and Not Watching Panda Lee's Videos by Iron Diplomacy. The video will show you that DSP himself doesn't even watch Panda Lee Games videos. It's a bit odd. If, if her own boyfriend doesn't watch them, then why should we? Hmm. So, let's have a, I'm just going to bring up her channel real quick. Um, not to you guys, I'm just going to read from it. She has 7,014 subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. Obviously she's earned them. Or her boyfriend has probably given her several plugs on his channel. But either way, she has 7,014 subscribers. People, come on. Whether they've fallen in her lap or not, she's got them. So, how many of those 7,014 subscribers watch her videos, you ask? Well, let's have a look at her last few videos. Her last four videos. 154 views. 163 views. 103 views. 94 views. That's odd. I have like 900 subscribers on my channel. And I get more views than her. How is that? I don't understand. Hmm. Could it be that maybe the, the people that are just obsessed with DSP and their fanboys and they've subscribed to his girlfriend simply because they were asked with no intention of watching her product? Perhaps. Or perhaps they gave it a go at some point and realised that she's absolutely shit at it. Perhaps. I would. This is how I'd review her, her commentary. As a Let's Player, I watch other Let's Plays, obviously. It's what got me into it. And I find certain... Um, commentators entertaining and it's all about the commentary for me um, as it is with probably most people her commentary is like it's like she's trying to be Phil in my opinion which like why would you want to be Phil he's like the worst one of the worst let's players of all time in my opinion his commentary is is poor absolutely poor and it's like she's just sat in front of her TV just shouting out just anything that comes to her mind, which isn't even remotely funny. She has absolutely zero comedic talent at all. And I'm not saying you have to be like a comedian like or funny to make Let's Plays. You know, there's people that make them and they're very informative. She's not one of those Let's Players either. She's not a, here's some tips on how to get through the game and get the best out of the game. No, she's not one of them. She's trying to be one of the comedic ones and failing miserably. Hence, 94 views when you've got 7,014 subscribers. How, you know, what percentage is that? Not a great percentage, Pandalee. Not a great percentage at all. And a few videos that I want to... Uh, well, one of the videos I want to recommend you to watch if you're not familiar with Pandalee is this one. It's called This Is How You Don't Do Co-op Commentary. And it's by a user by the name of Magnu1991. Now, this video is... It's just Panda Lee in a nutshell. It is absolutely hilarious. Go watch it. It's also hilarious, but it's also very cringe. It's cringe city watching it. It's like, oh my god. I actually felt sorry for Phil. She's she's not funny. She's shit at games. She has no idea what she's going on. And she creates so many awkward moments. And she has such a short temper. Now, it's worth pointing out. I don't know how old she is. Someone might want to write it in the comments. Um, she's a lot younger than Phil. And boy... Does she act like it? And this video, her commentary is just, it's the worst by far. Also, John Rambo does commentary on this video. And him and Phil are, you know, and you're going to hear me compliment Phil a little bit here. They're trying to have a laugh and, you know, make the Let's Play entertaining or the playthrough entertaining. And Panda Lee is just there moaning and yelling and trying to be funny and complaining that she can't do shit and having a go at them. 
and there's just like times where Phil and they just ignore her just because it's just so awkward as a viewer I'm feeling awkward I'm like oh who invited her fuck she's terrible um yeah I, go watch it it's it has to be seen to be believed and for me and I'm gonna get a bit personal here this is just my opinion the reason the only because I don't see why Phil should put up with the way she speaks to him and um, you know just her attitude in general what guy would put up with that I'll tell you what guy would put up with that kind of attitude the guy who knows that he's never gonna get another girlfriend again and he's so lucky to have any girl interested in him at all that he has to hold on hold on please you're the I wouldn't be surprised if she's his first ever girlfriend and he's just like, oh my god there's a girl that actually likes me shit Oh, I don't care, she could treat me as badly as she wants. And Panda Lee kind of obviously knows this. And, you know, like I said, hey, it's just my opinion. And, uh, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are pissed off at that. But I'm just saying, I just, you know, I'm not saying it's true. That's just my thoughts. I mean, why else would you put up with this, you know, douchebag? Even, even DSP. Like, you know, come on, dude. It's sure it's better to be single and be happy than just be like, you know, how good is the sex? Just saying, you know, it must be pretty damn good, that's all I'm saying. I wonder if she makes that noise, that... Mm, noise. That would fucking be off-putting, wouldn't it? That would be well off-putting. But I digress. Um, another video I, that you've, you've got to watch is... Well, you ain't got to watch. I'm not forcing you at gunpoint. Watch it if you want, but I'm saying it's... it's you should watch it. It's called... DSP Tries It, Insulting His Fans... And this video is by the Kojima World Order, which is a great channel. You should definitely go check that out. It's very informative. And this is one of their best videos, in my opinion. It shows you DSP. He's streaming Kingdom Hearts. And in much the way that I first uh, spoke or was spoken to by Panda Lee, or no, I wasn't even spoken to, the first time I had an encounter with Panda Lee, it's another one of those incidents where she was in the stream chat and she was slagging off Kingdom Hearts. Why would you do that? You're asking for trouble. You're on a Kingdom Hearts stream slagging off Kingdom Hearts. Who's going to be watching the Kingdom Hearts stream? Kingdom Hearts fans. So, she's slagging off the game and people are jumping to the game's defence. Wow, what a shock. And what do you think would happen here? DSP sees that the chat is basically becoming all these Kingdom Hearts fans having a go at Panda Lee for her comments. And Panda Lee to keep going at it, keep pissing people off, blah, blah, blah. What's DSP's solution to this? To sort of say to his girlfriend, you know, come on, wind it in a bit, wind your fucking neck in. You shouldn't be doing this. These people are watching my stream. These people are paying my way because, you know, they watch the ads and all this bullshit. They're my audience. No, he sides with Panda Lee. And he basically says, right, I'm going to put the chat into sub-only mode because you guys are fucking idiots, blah, blah, blah. I'm paraphrasing. But he basically says that everyone was wrong to have a go at Panda Lee and because they're so immature. He calls them immature, which is rich coming from him. And it's also rich that he's called them immature when it's his girlfriend with the mind of like a 12-year-old that has caused the whole thing. And for no good reason, of course. So he's punishing all his loyal fans for this fucking douchebag. Hashtag DSP logic. So, you know, I mean, if, if I was Phil, I would have kicked her from the fucking chat. Just be done with it. Shit, man. I mean, he's already, like, pissing off enough people and she's there just stirring that shit. It's not worth it. And, obviously, I bet she was wild pleased that she got everyone blocked. Like, oh, that'll show them. That'll show them. Fucking, so, what, what, what's been learnt here? It's been, in future... Panda Lee's still allowed to act like a douche on these streams. And the lesson learned is don't talk back to her. Because she's DSP's girlfriend. She's like the fucking queen of the stream. So if you disagree with her or not, she can pretty much say what the fuck she wants on those streams. It's it's fine. Phil Phil's completely happy with it. Um so yeah, like again, that that to me stems back to um Oh, I'll never get another girlfriend. I better hold on to this one. Um, you know, why else would you put up with that? She's clearly in the wrong. 
in everyone's eyes apart from Phil's. So, why? Why bother? She's ruining, like, not that I like DSP gaming's, like, content, but some people still do, obviously. But even the people that like it, you've just got to look at the videos that Panda Lee is in, and they're like, oh, dude, why is Panda Lee in this video? Oh, for fuck's sake. I remember I saw one game that he played, and someone commented something like, Saw Phil is playing this game. Smiley face. Press play. Watch the video. Panda Lee's in it. Sad face. So even the people that are pro DSP hate Panda Lee. So you're already losing fans because of this whole wave of negativity that you've created for yourself. And then the people that are loyal enough to stick around for you are being pissed off by Panda Lee. And you're sort of like, I mean, obviously, yeah, dude, she's your girlfriend. Obviously, you're going to like her better than your fans. But, like, when she's wrong, she's wrong. She is a human, kind of. So she makes mistakes. And don't even act like you thought that the stream chat were in the wrong. Because they weren't. And it made me laugh as well. He made this comment. This this was hilarious. It's like a bit unrelated. He said, um, now we can all concentrate... When he, this is when he banned everyone. He goes, now we can all concentrate on the game, which is what you should all be concentrating on in the fucking first place. Which I thought... How, how hilarious that people are watching it for entertainment. They're not there to concentrate, but in Phil's mind, that just shows they should be concentrating on the game because, of course, they're helping him get through it. If anything, the best thing to come out of him, like, banning the chat is that he had to play the game by himself because, obviously, he relies heavily on the stream chat. But again, I'm going off topic. So, to summarise my thoughts on Panda Lee, what she does on her channel... Is, and this is just me reviewing, you know, other people might, uh, I don't know what kind of people, might find her Let's Plays entertaining. But be honest with yourself, if, if she wasn't going out with DSP and you just came across someone called Panda Lee Gaming's Let's Play channel and you watched a few videos, would you subscribe? I wouldn't. I, well, I'm not even subscribed now. Like, with the fact that she's tied to DSP doesn't sway me. I don't see why it would sway anyone. Um, but obviously it has 7,014 people. Uh, she's, her commentary is appalling. And she's not great at games either. This is just from what I've seen. So, constructive criticism for her, if she's watching, which I doubt she will be, is, um, yeah, two things you should work on for your Let's Plays. Uh, number one, improve your commentary. Or don't, don't have commentary. That might be an easy solution. Number two, improve your gaming ability. And my thoughts on her collaborations with DSP and what's it, what it's doing for him... No favours. No favours at all, my friend. In hard times for your channel, she's dragging you even further down. So, I'm not saying you have to break up with her, because, you know, you might never get another girlfriend again, but fucking cut the cord on that shit as far as um, her collaborating with you goes, in my opinion. Not that you will, but that's just my advice, but hey, you know. You obviously don't appreciate my advice, because um, I all I have to do is say hi, and I get banned for two minutes. But... What evs, what evs, man? Um, yeah, so love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please leave me a comment, and uh, thank you as always for watching. And um, yeah, have a terrific day, guys. I will see you next time. <laughs>